Hey, welcome back to another episode of Stoked About Science. Today we'll be building a simple DC motor, and you'll need a few supplies. So we'll kind of talk about those. The first thing that you're going to need is some kind of a battery, either a C or D cell usually works best. This one's a C here. You'll need some kind of tape. I like electrical. Some paper clips, a magnet. Neodymium's a little bit better, but any will do. And then magnet wire. And this magnet wire here is 24 gauge. You can use something a little bit smaller or bigger. But you want to get about a meter, three or four feet or so, and then take that and wrap it around the battery and leaving a good chunk uh, out each end sticking out there. Slide it off of that and then wrap it around itself so it holds the coil nice and firm on the top and on the bottom. When you do that, you want to make sure that the leads then stick out straight because that's going to be the axle that this spins around. So put, make sure they're right in the middle of the coil. Once you have that other side done, then you want to make sure that the thing doesn't wobble, that it spins freely between your fingers. And then we're ready to start making the cradle. Just take your paper clips and open one slightly and then tape it down uh, with your tape onto both sides of that thing. And the coil will hang from that uh, once we've scraped it. So the scraping is the toughest part of this whole project. So get scissors and some kind of board to scrape on and you want to make sure that you're holding the coil vertically. Don't hold it horizontally, that's wrong, but make sure it's vertical and then scrape or use sandpaper uh, a couple of inches or so outward so that it's nice and shiny underneath. But only do it on the top half of the wire. So I kind of move it a little bit to each side so I'm getting the top one half of that whole wire. Flip it around, do the other side, same thing. Scrape it down till it's shiny and twist it a little bit both sides so you get the complete one half. I've drawn a picture here. You do both sides of that coil and where I've shaded it kind of a black color that is what you scrape. It's only the top half of the wire not the whole wire. You can kind of see when I do that it gets a yellowish gold look on that and on the other side where I haven't scraped it's still kind of that reddish look from the enamel. Cut off your leads because you only need about two inches or so sticking out and make sure they're good and straight. It spins nicely and then you're ready to test it out. Put your magnet on the the battery, put your coil down in the cradle and boom it worked first try. Usually you're gonna have to tinker with it a little bit when you're building this for the first time. Um, what typically happens is uh, if you don't scrape it right it doesn't spin all the way around or it'll kinda start to twitch in the middle. So then you have to fix it by bending the wires uh, with some pliers or something because you've scraped maybe when it was flat instead of vertical. Uh, in this case it didn't work as well after a while because it started to get corroded so you have to scrape off the little black that gets on the the uh, bare wires or use some sandpaper for that. Occasionally as well you'll need to give your little uh, coil a kick start to get it going and sometimes squeezing the paper clips with your fingers uh, helps it make, make better contact as well. Hey, thanks for watching.